Uh, did you find your dad? No, it wasn't him. Where's Livy's? It, it was really weird. It was like she got some flash of inspiration and said she thought she knew where your dad was and tore out of here. I went to the kitchen, I grabbed some iced tea, and when I came back, Olivia freaked out. Okay, defined freaked out. She asked me why I was wearing Connie's dress. You were wearing Connie's dress? No, of course I wasn't. I feel really bad. I mean, maybe because of the grief, she's hallucinating she or something? She wasn't hallucinating. What do you mean? Olivia gets these psychic visions she has ever since some lunatic injected her with LSD. Yeah, I actually heard something about this, but I never got all the details. Look, Kiki, can't you think? Did Olivia say anything else about what she was seeing, like uh, the dress, the dress you were wearing? Just that it was Connie's wedding dress. What the hell are you... It makes sense now that Olivia thought she knew where my dad was. Because she saw me in Connie's wedding gown? I don't know. I was away at school when Dad and Connie was supposed to get married. Well, the disaster doesn't even begin to cover it. My dad was completely blindsided. Okay, if it was so awful, he wouldn't want to go back to the site of the wedding, right? Oh, he might, if it was a place they got back together. Where? The Haunted Star. <clears throat> you want to press charges, is that right? <sighs> Uh, it's my brother. I, I really need to take this family crisis. Yeah. Look, you want to file assault charges, uh, file a report, just head down to the station, okay? Thanks. Yeah. Michael, what's up? We think Dad might be on the Haunted Star. What would he be doing there? It's a long story, but uh, Morgan and I are headed there right now. Can you can you meet us there? Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. What the hell is he doing in there? We need to go. Are you sure you don't want to stay here with me? This is my family. Can it you... seems like Michael and Dante can handle okay, it. Okay, but whatever it is, I need to be a part of it. All right? This is important to me. Your dad's gonna be okay. Thanks for saying that and for being here with me. Of course. I'm your wife. It's my job to be here, right? <laughs> for better, for worse. I love you. I love you too. You're not being. Watch too. I want you guys out of here now. It's not gonna happen, Sonny. Dad, what the hell? Just put down the gun. Hey, hey, let Michael take this, okay? No, but this is my fault. Enough! Not... Don't pick it up! I don't deserve it. I don't deserve you cleaning up after me. Wait, you don't deserve to live either. No, no, I don't. Not after what I put you guys through. Dad, come on. We can figure this out. We love you. When things get tough, we don't just turn our backs on each other. And we sure don't uh, run away either, do we? You taught me that. No matter how much damage you've done, you live through it. You live with it. And not for yourself. I do it for everyone who needs you. Dad, you're the center of this family. Okay, without you, we'd all just, we'd all fall apart. I mean, look at me and Morgan. We were at each other's throats. But because we thought we might have lost you, it brought us closer together. You pull that trigger, you, uh, take away our father. And my daughter's grandfather. What am I supposed to tell my baby girl, huh? Sorry, baby, your grandfather's not here because he pointed a gun at his chest and then he pulled the trigger. I'm not going to have that talk with my kid. And you're not going to take the coward's way out. You're going to... Why don't you stick around? For her. And, uh... And for me. Dad, I'm sorry, okay? I asked you to do something to prove that you love me. So now it's my turn. Just give me that chance, please, and put down that gun. Honey, your sons are begging you to stay in their lives. For God's sake. Please listen to them. Please. Look, we can make this work, Dad. It's gonna be okay. We will make this work. All you gotta do is trust us. You think you can do that, Dad?
Come on. Let's get you home. Thank you, Dad. Some food, a little rest. It's all gonna come into focus, okay? You made the right decision, Dad. We need you. My little baby needs you. On the next General Hospital... I'm just dead. It's all my fault. You're the reason my baby's in trouble. Whatever happens next to that baby is on you. What made you so dangerous? I'm not Franco's keeper. Pack your bags, get your poser ass out of my house.